You can use the Excel match function to find the position of an item in a list. I've got 124 here, and it's in the list, but the match function returns an error. We'll see how to fix that so match can find what it's looking for. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. Here's the sheet with the match error problem. I've got 124 listed in two cells here. We can see it in the lookup table, but this match formula that says, check this value in B9, look for it in this list of codes, and give me an exact match. But it's saying NA, it can't find 124 in this table. Now if I copy it down to the next row, it's the same formula, same number, and it found it that time. So why do we get this error in cell C9? A common cause for this kind of problem is numbers that aren't really numbers. I've got conditional formatting that shows which cells have text in them and which have numbers. The lookup table is all numbers. In this cell, there's a number 124. In this cell, there's a text number. So either the cell is formatted as text, or if we look up in the formula bar, there's an apostrophe in front of this number which tells Excel to regard this as text. Text and numbers aren't equal in Excel, so they look the same, but Excel treats them differently. So here it's matching because a number here is found in this list of numbers. Text is not found in that list of numbers. So how can we fix that? If possible, change this to a real number. But if you can't do that, then we can change the match formula to fix the problem. We have to fix this so that when it looks at B9, it sees a number instead of a text number. And to fix the formula, I can type two minus signs in front of the cell reference here. So I'll double click here, click in front of the B9 and type two minus signs. When I press enter, that fixed the problem. To show why those two minus signs work, here's a list with three text numbers. If we look, there's an apostrophe in front, there's a sum formula at the bottom, and they add up to zero because text has a value of zero. In this cell, I'm going to use two minus signs to convert this text number to a real number, and that should change the total. So this is a number, we can see it included in the sum now. There are other ways to change text to a number. I just find that the quickest and easiest one, but we could also try multiplying by one. And that works too. And here we could add zero to this number. And that does the same thing. So there are different ways to convert a text number to a real number. I'm using the two minus signs and those two minus signs are called a double unary. So that's what we've put in our formula and that's why it changes this to a number and finds a match. And if we copy the formula down to the row where there is a number, it continues to work. In some workbooks, you might have the opposite problem. Here we have real numbers that we're trying to find in a table that has text numbers. So we're getting NA errors because these real numbers don't find a match in the text. So we can fix that problem by making a change to the match function too. In our formula, match is checking B9, which is a number. To change that to text, the easiest way is to double click into the formula, click after the B9 reference, type an ampersand, and then two double quotes to create an empty string. Press enter. That addition of an empty string to the number changes that number to text, so it finds a match for the 123. I'll copy that down, and it fixes all the formulas here. It didn't have any negative effect on this text number. It continues to match the text numbers in the table. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.